Hello, welcome to Dry Creek Beekeeping. The day has finally come. I have bees, finally. It has been way too long. And the reason for that is the two week shipping delay due to the cold in the south. But gosh, it is great to have bees again. So if you're watching this video, that means you probably also just got bees or maybe you don't have them just yet but you're wondering how to set them up. First things first, and you don't necessarily need this, some beekeepers don't choose to, I do, and you especially don't need this right now because of how gentle the bees are gonna be because they kind of don't have a reason to live because they don't have a hive that they belong to, but I choose to have a beekeeping suit, so I'm gonna put that on now. So, first thing you're going to need is the baseboard. So take your baseboard and set it where you want it. You're going to want it on some cinder blocks because that keeps it stable and acts as a very nice base. Then, after that, you're going to want to take going to move these guys off to the side for a second. You're going to take your actual hive box with all the frames already in place. My frames already have honey and wax on them. Yours probably won't if you're just starting, but mine do since the hive I had previously died and I'm just using all their stuff. So, so now take your hive box and set it right on the baseboard here. Now, all right, make sure it's all nice and lined up. And now I'm gonna give you a front view of it. This is where the entrance is to the hive. Um, you're going to need a entrance reducer on here. Um, you can wait maybe a little bit, but don't wait too long because otherwise uh, wasps and stuff will notice that it's a weak hive and go after it and attack it. Next up, what you're going to want to need is the inner cover and just set that on right like that. Make sure it's all lined up. This here is for ventilation and that is very important and I can attest to that since my previous two hives have died from ventilation problems. Last thing you're going to need is the outer cover and you can put that on top. Keep in mind I am going to remove the two covers before I put the bees in, obviously. And there you go. This is what your hive will look like when it's done. But, right now, you're going to need to remove these two covers. Now, your bees. So first things first, what you're going to want to do with this is you'll notice that there's something like this at the top. This holds the sugar water. Just using a screwdriver or your hive tool. I find screwdriver works best. Just take that right out. Some bees will die from this. Keep that in mind. There's no perfect way to do this. And now that you got that out, go ahead and set it off to the side for a little bit. Now, bees will be very angry. That's when you need the smoker. Just lightly around, do that. 
set that off to the side. Okay, now set this down, remove two of the middle frames, set them off to the side, and take this which is covered in bees and shake all those bees in there. Just like that. Now this is interesting. There is, this is a sort of jelly actually. I've never actually seen anything like that. Usually this is a liquid, but I guess they've been eating away at this jelly in here. Interesting. Now, take your package of bees. You can go ahead and set that back up there. All right, so you may notice that there's a little pin on your box, like right about there. Go ahead and pull that. Make sure not to drop it, because this is probably, and also shake it off, because this is probably the most important part of your hive. Check it out. It's the queen. She's right there. Yeah, look at her. Okay. So now with the queen, this is probably the hardest part of this. You're either going to need a little marshmallow or in my case, I think I can just use this green stuff from the hive feeder. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but so you're going to need to be quick about this because you're going to have to take off your glove for this. So you need to be super quick. First, get all the bees away, get all the workers away without hurting the queen. And then take your glove off. Ah, oh, shoot. This isn't working. One second. So put your glove back on. Grab a screwdriver or something. If you have bees swarming around you like I, I do, use your smoker and then be really quick and get that cork out, replace it with candy, and there you go. Just gonna press the rest of that candy around it. And didn't even get stung. Perfect. Bees don't like it when you mess with their queen, so be careful. Look at her. Yeah, cool. Set your queen off to the side and set everything off to the side. In fact, go ahead, might as well take one more frame out. Start shaking them out. So now, set like this, give it a few, a few taps to one side or another. Make sure that as many as you can get out, get out. Like if you can't get them all out, that's fine, but try to get as many as possible. And I did pretty good here, look at that. There's not many left. And, okay, so now there is a ton of bees down here, in fact, oh shoot, let me just take a little scoop of them here, check that out, shake them off again, 
So, what you're going to want to do now is take your queen, take one of your frames. If you don't have any wax on your frames, that's going to make it a lot easier. But make sure her face side is out here because she can't actually tend for herself. She will die. Turn that like that, more or less. And press her cage into the wax. And if that's not working because the wax is cold, take something, scrape some of that wax out. In fact, quite a bit of that wax. And press her in there. Just like that. And then set her in. Put the next frame in. And then you might not be able to put this frame in because, like I said, she'll die if her face thing is covered. So it might just be best to leave this frame out, although don't leave it exposed to the elements. Now, you're basically almost done. All you have to do is set, may try to get a bit more bees out. I don't seem to be able to do that, but there is some still left in here. And put the entrance reducer in. Yeah, so now all you gotta do is take your inner cover, set it right on there, take your outer cover, set it on top, and then push it in the direction that the opening on the inner cover is on. And then with this stuff, it may not look like this. It may be like this and it's a jar and it has sugar water in it. But just leave it out here. Let your bees feast on it. They always like that. And then take a big rock, set it on top of your hive so that the outer cover doesn't blow away. Take your thing of bees here, set it on top so that they can get out and actually I'm going to set it like this because otherwise they might not escape. That's it. You have a new hive. For me, I formally named this hive Alpha 2-0. The reason for that is that it is the Alpha Hive box. It is Two previous hives have died in the Alpha Hive box, and then this hive has survived for zero years. That's the reasoning for that. But informally, I'm going to call it the Bass Hive. And I cannot wait for this year because the weather, from what I've seen, looks very good. And we have an early spring, there's already flowers out. So normally I would put some sort of feeder on here but since there's already honey in the hive and there's already flowers out, I'm not going to do that. Especially since it's this late in the year. And yeah, that's just about it. But one more thing. If you have a bottom board that I have, it probably came with this. This is just uh, stuff from inside the hive falls down on it through the screen mesh. And then you can see how many varroa mites you have and stuff like that. And then you can treat if necessary. So I'm going to put that in. And that's it. Don't forget, now that you've set up your hive, to come back in a week and make sure everything's good. I've had a hive once where the queen died immediately. So this is a very important thing to do. And after you've checked on it in a week, if nothing's wrong, then you can check on it every two weeks for the rest of the year. 
Well, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content that I'm creating. And also, if you have any questions about beekeeping, be sure to put it in the comments. See ya!